Alright, so this is the first in a series of videos that will last about sort of one and a half to two weeks. Um, it represents a lot of work. It's um, sort of this particular iteration is a couple of years of work, um, but really it's uh, just the latest in about 12 years or so of work. Um, so in this particular video, I'm giving you an introduction to Actual. Um, just before we get into that, you'll notice that uh, there are two webcam feeds sitting up in the top right hand corner, one to see me um, and then one to sort of give you a picture so you can see the whole projector set up and everything. So let's uh, tell you what actual is. The tagline for it is, it's actually pretty good. Um, I completely slurred myself there, but anyway, it's actually pretty good is what I said. Um, so if we go to here, slash actual, and here is the GitHub page for it and you can see there's a um, some stuff sort of to get you started. There's lots and lots of documentation, but uh, we'll come to that in a later video. So what is it? It's a programming language. Um, what, I'm, what I've released so far is just, excuse me, is just the foundations. Um, this is, uh, this is enough to implement all the stuff which I've been uh, building over the last couple of years with it. Um, so let's show you some of that, because I think that's really going to show you what's interesting about it. So we'll first start off, um, there's a program I've got um, called Dunnit. And so if we go and have a look at what I've been doing today, um, I've, been, I've spent 15 minutes since I thought of using this as an actual live example, so that's fine. Um, I've got mass, um, and I really need to clear out some uh, data out of there uh, before I give you a proper demo of that. So when the when mass comes around, I'll give you a proper demo. But what I can do right now is I can say um, I want to find my laptop, and it's found it. And so then I'll open up a terminal to it, and there we go. Um, so what you do is you use this for indexing all of your servers um, in an infrastructure. Um, so uh, yeah, the last place I worked had something like 900 servers. So uh, having something to manage all of that um, was very nice. Um, this next one is um, very, very alpha, but um, it's kind of cool. Um, so the whole idea is that um, if we go uh, for the, I'll explain this all properly later on. Um, so in a in the video for it, but um, essentially, web pages have become very. Um, uh, they've been made pretty at the expense of usability, and so for someone like me who has Erlen syndrome, um, it's sort of it makes things um, more tricky. So um, I've actually made this little tool which um, helps massively. Um, so I just say, well, I want to color by hex and I'll go, so this is basically gonna give me a sort of greeny bluey color. And then I'll say I want to put that out and it's gonna generate a couple of uh, cascading style sheets. Um, and you can see there that this is now recolored using colors which are more useful for me. Now I can actually go and uh, go in here and go CW right, and you can see we've got a more bright theme uh, using it. Prefer personally, I prefer the dark. Um, okay, so actual does lots of cool stuff like this. It's basically made for working with really small data sets, like. Uh, I think the largest data set I've worked with so far has been about half a meg, and um, yeah. Uh, now, the stuff which is coming soon is for infinite data sets, and I will, uh, but not big data, it's different from big data, but anyway, uh, there is some overlap, but anyway, that's coming in a later video. So, um, let's have a look at installing this. Let's go and find the URL for it. So we're going to go into here. And you see here, we have a nice, easy one-liner, which we can copy that. And we just paste that straight in. 
and you can see that is now installed. So we have a whole heap of stuff there, that's good. We have the management tool and that's all there ready to go. That is all I'll say on that for now. Um, if we wanted to make this available to everyone we would install it as root and so what you'd do is you'd simply put in the sudo just before the bash and then uh, that would install it system wide. All users would be able to have access to the data. Um, a little bit of work would need to be done with permissions if they want to be able to modify that data. Um, so that's fine. Getting applications. Um, that is also pretty easy. So let's go up here and we want to, whoops, uh, we want to install Dunnit. And once again, Dunnit also has one of these lines, but you notice this one's a little bit longer. So we'll go and pop this in here and we'll paste that. And if we didn't have actual installed already, it would go and ins install actual. But because we've got that installed already, um, it's just gone there and now you can see Dunnit is now installed. I think that's going to do it for this video. This one's uh, getting pretty long. Um, this is quite an exciting time. Um, there's a whole lot more videos which I'm going to release, um, basically one every day for the next little while. Um, hope you'll stick around and enjoy it.